Hello everyone and welcome back to Queen Bean's Collectibles. I am sorry for yet another delayed video, but we are going to get back on track because look at what we have today. We have a ton of the Cafe Series 3. Woohoo! Finally found a Target that had them. So I picked up quite a few of them, but of course I left a few behind in the case for the next person who comes along. And then the case I was originally purchasing the Diner series from only had two left, which made me hope maybe I would get the Jello then, since we didn't get that last time. Um, so we're dreaming big, but hey, that's what we do here in the land of Miniverse, don't we? So I am going to take this, or take us down the usual path. So we open everything first, and then we build. Um, so if you don't like that, apologies in advance. Um, but that's basically what we're going to be doing. So I'm really, really excited. This is my first time opening the Cafe Series 3. So it'll be my first time looking at the collector's guide up close. Of course, I've watched other videos, but nonetheless. So are you done with my rambling yet? All right, let's get it. I'll quit messing around. Let's just take this one right here. Um, I know of some things you can get in here, but I was trying to avoid it until I got it myself. Um, but I have some very strong interest in baked potatoes or the soup. Um, basically anything savory. That's that's my gig. So are we ready? I'm a little nervous. I'm not going to lie to you guys. But let's do it. I did also just paint my nails. So I'm going to be really bummed if this goes sideways. I should just use my scissors. But I could also just be stubborn and not do that. All right. We're off to a great start. A great start. <laughs> Miniverse, I love you, but we got to we got to improve that. Especially whatever is going on with this glue here that sealed it. That was really okay, guys, we're almost there. Don't fret. Come on. We just whoa, whoa, it's already opening. Maybe it's like Jane Pack or something. Come on. Okay, let's find out, shall we? Hello. Okay, so first things first. And we'll do it fast, because I'm sure a lot of you guys are watching other people's videos already. Not huge collection, but a beautiful collection. Look at everything. The s'mores, the cookies, the popsicles, the pickles, the soup, the baked potatoes. I'm basically here for everything. I think the only thing I don't have much interest in is the dragon fruit bowl. That one's kind of like, meh. But everything else I think is really cute. Well, I guess the smoothie's kind of meh as well. Um, but everything else I'm very excited about. So let's get into it, shall we? Okay. One, one collector's guide handy so we have something to follow. Okay, let me get some of this other stuff out of the way. We, of course, want something to put all of our ingredients in. And let's see what we have. Up first we have nuts. Well, they feel like they're a lot more um, like finely chopped this time. So hopefully they look a little bit better. Sorry, I should be letting you guys see that. I didn't realize how many of these I had bought. Oh, whoopsie. Okay, let's keep going. A bear pop. <gasps> We got popsicles then. Oh, there's two. Okay, I'm very entranced. I have no idea how this is gonna work. Okay, this is oops, uh, chocolate. That's all it says, just chocolate. Nothing else specific. So they're gonna be some kind of chocolate popsicle, I presume. Okay, there's a little holder. I do like these holders they're giving us as well. Cause I feel like otherwise it would be really, really hard to display them. We also have the tweezers and the topper. Okay, nothing else in there for utensils. Good to know. Good to know. Okay, this is exciting. Is this actually just like a chocolate? Ah, Choco Bear Pop. So that's what we're gonna be building. That is so exciting. Titus, you are in the way. Can you guys hear him in the background? What a shocker, he's in the way. Okay, guys, this is going to be so much fun. Let's keep going. Okay, now the nervousness is a little more gone. Because now I'm just excited to build with you guys. I have missed you guys. 
Oh, I've been slacking. So, you guys know when I slack, I go hard when I come back. So, prepare yourselves for a bunch of videos in a row. Thank you, Titus, for not ruining the lighting. Alright. No duplicates, right? That's all we really hope for, because these did come from the same case. So, that's, that's my main hope. And y'all know, obviously, there's no codes or anything, but I do try to sit there and, you know... What does it sound like? How much does it weigh? Am I at least picking a bunch that weigh different amounts? So, that's the goal. Whee! Okay, let's get this stuff out of the way. I can already see a coaster, which makes me think we either got the smoothie or the matcha, would be my guess. That's just a guess, though. So let's see. Okay, um, I think they both come in this type of container, but I'm not 100% sure. So I think it could be either one. I think this will be the determining factor. Smoothie. That is still fine. I'm still excited to make it. It's not like my number one, but I love making this stuff. So I don't mind one bit. Whoa. I didn't know we were going to use the little shaved ice in the smoothie. Okay, that'll be fun. That's good. That always helps to, um, with, you know, making the resin last. And there, it, this bag is like busted at the seams. I don't know if they're all supposed to be like this, but... I'm kind of looking forward to that because um, usually I get nervous when you don't like the resin doesn't feel super heavy, but that ice should be a trick. Oh, and we do have fruit. Oh, we have full strawberries and little bananas. So, okay, plenty to fill that cup up with. And then maybe a straw, but definitely tweezers, of course. Ah, and there's our straw as well. So that looks like the last um, couple series where it's just like a plain blue one. And then, of course, we have our tweezers and our topper. I wonder if I should bring this in. I feel like this is very hard for you guys to see. I'm going to bring it in a little bit. And you guys feel free to let me know in the comments if this is not doing it for you. All right. So that's an exciting one. I'm going to put that to the side. Whoop. And um, let's go for another one before we go back to diner. Because I am so excited to get my hands on these. And I'm nervous that with the diner one, we're not going to get the jello. I need the jello. Okay, let's keep going. Yeah, their tear strips are not great. That is for certain. Erg. Okay. That does not go in the way one had hoped. Where's the over? Oh, there it is. We're just going to start the opposite way then. And I'm starting to see Series 3 Diner pop up in places, but for whatever reason, I am not seeing Cafe right away. I found only one Target that had them. And that's the thing, too. I've only been finding them at Target, not Walmart, not anywhere else. And they're very interesting. But I find everything interesting. Okay, here we go. Whee! Okay. Whoops. I'm just going to throw things instead of putting them where they belong. Okay. Okay. Well, this looks different than the last wrappers, doesn't it? I always say stuff like that when I'm wrong. Okay, I have a sunny day. What do we got? Is this seriously going to be a duplicate? I have very strong feelings about this. Is it, or is it the smoothie bowl thing? Bro, what? What? Fine, bogus. That is so bogus. Okay, whoa. I suppose on the bright side for me, I've been trying to catch up on comments and such as well. I'm pretty sure one of you commented that you guys are getting 10 tons of the alphabet soup and you would like to trade. And I, I read that comment. Actually, I, I read them all and I reply to them all, in case you're wondering. Um, but yeah, just so you know, person whose username I don't want to announce in front of everyone else, I'm going to reach out to you because... Would you maybe want brand new series three? I'd be happy to treat you for that alphabet soup. I would be happy to. Okay, first duplicate on only capsule three. That is not cool. Not cool, we gotta redeem ourselves. Here we go. Oh, mm, is that a sign of redemption? It could be. It could be, guys. Could be. Getting me excited. Watch it be another duplicate. I would lose my mind. I'd lose it. Oh, yeah. We lost a big chunk of nail polish already. Awesome. Sorry, guys. All right. I'm 
I'm getting nervous. That cup that just went flying kind of looks like the smoothie cup. No. Please don't. Please don't leave that. Please. Oh, okay. They're just sprinkles. Oh, lordy. I was like, no. That's not fair. Oh. Panic is less. Lessened. Lessened? I don't know. Party pink. Party pink. Doesn't say if it's frosty or not. Wasn't there? I can't remember what had this. <gasps> Wait a minute. Are we about to get the cookies? Because I'm going to live for that. Yeah! Wow, these cookies are ginormous. I did not anticipate them to be so big. Oops. And I ripped off. The oh, the wrapping got stuck to the packaging. So it was looking like that. Oh, yay! Okay, now I'm excited. Okay, well, we're going to move that because it's going to keep sticking to everything. And then this must be that cute little tray. Oh, I love it. Oh, wait, was there paper? I almost squished it. There it is. Oh, yeah. Okay, this was definitely redemption. redemption. Whoops, there goes the spatula. Topper tweezers. How awesome, guys. Okay, we are redeeming ourselves. I'm definitely excited for that one. All right, we're going to change it up officially. We are going to go and grab a diner one just for fun. Why not? And let's see what this one brings us. Will it be the jello that I want so badly? People probably think I'm nuts. I probably like jello of all things. Yes. There's something about that jello. I just love it. The color. Oh, fabulous. Where is the tear strip? There. You know, for all of you other YouTubers or folks out there who are opening 10 tons of these, I found a lot of ways to, like, repurpose the tables and the capsules and especially, like, for giveaways, but it's starting to run out of ideas again. Anybody found anything new, fun, good ideas to use with all these, this stuff? Let a girl know. Darn it, I certainly don't think we're getting the jello because we have some kind of, um, tissue paper. I'm just going to put the, ta um, the table together real quick. Here is the very squished um, paper. Let's get the collector's guide out of the way. We've already been there. We've done that. You know what? We probably don't need the table right at the second, so I will move that as well. Okay. So let's see what we got, shall we? No! This is my third dinosaur taco. My third dinosaur taco. That was from the same case. Man, that's so lame. Well, again, person with alphabet soup. Oops, did I just open two at once? Oh, well, that's embarrassing. Well, no one saw that. Um, because we already got this, so we're just gonna put all the doubles down. Um, so person with alphabet soup, come find me. If you are interested in um, the Choco Bear Pops or the Dino Taco, I am your girl. And, you know, for the other folks out there who are interested in trading, uh, my email is in my channel description. So if you ever see me open a bunch of doubles and you're like, dude, I have the ones you want. Like, let's trade. Email me. I would be more than happy to trade with you. Plus, I like going to the post office. It's fun. Well, that was, oops, and there goes the taco beef. There we go. That's disappointing. Well, okay. Hopefully that means for trading, we... We'll have better plans. Do we go for the redemption? I'm very nervous now. <sighs> well, now I'm curious. Oops. There we go. Those little twisty ties on the top. Keep getting stuck. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Are we redeeming ourselves? Come on, please be the jello. Please, please, please. We are begging. All right. Okay. I'm getting nervous because I see what just flew out of there. Looks like some kind of little coaster. I don't know if that goes with. I have a feeling it probably does not go with the jello. But let's find out. Here's what we have to work with, guys. 
Titus, will you please quit going in places you're not supposed to be? Whoops. What was that? Chocolate glaze. Hmm. Oh, darn it. Okay, I'll pick that up in a second. I don't remember what this chocolate glaze in this series. Oh, no, it's a cake. Oh, cakes are so hard to make. I mean, I like the cakes, but holy moly, they are really hard to make. But that's exactly it. Okay. All right, guys, we're going to work hard on this one today. That's going to definitely be the challenge. Ooh, but I really like the color of the stand. It's very pretty mint. We can do this. We can do this. Don't get nervous. We got this. Ooh, big old cake cutter. All right. Exciting. Not the jello, but it is something new nonetheless. That will be fun. Let us continue along our way. We have three more cafe series to open and then we will start building. So let's see what else we have. We have not really gotten anything savory, have we? Um, besides my duplicate of the tacos. So please, soup. Please, potatoes. Please, pickles. We need you. Okay. Do you guys like when I open stuff like this where it's like all at the start and then we build? I've had a few people comment that they do, so it's kind of why I've been sticking to it. No. This better be a good sign. All this work better pay off. Okay, guys. Here we go. I'm nervous. Wee. Woo. Okay, that's a spoiler. So we're not going to flip that over. I'm just going to scooch that over. It was one of the um, placemats. So we're not going to look. We're just going to look at what's in our magic little box. So, what do we have? What? I'm very puzzled. There was fish. Where's the fish? Do I really have absolutely no recollection of this? Oh, it's the bagel. Oh God, people put fish on bagels. Oh God, ooh. Ooh, that sounds gross. I mean, more power to you. No wonder I was so confused. Okay, so we have the, ba the bagels, which I guess I could have kept opening it on and figured out, but that's funny. Okay, we got our cute little plate. We got oops, me unable to rip a bag. Cute. Oh, and it comes with two, which I love. I don't think we're going to put the fish on the bagel. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I, ooh, that sounds gross. Capers. Oh, I see. Okay, well, we're going to make these the way I like bagels, which is not with any of that. Um, I don't like fish. It's gross. Sorry, not sorry. Personal opinion. I see something. Come on. A knife. There we go. I feel like that knife looks different. Or did we never have knives before? Is this the first time we've had a knife? I don't remember. Okay. Oops. Let me scoot that up a little so you guys can see it too. And then... Ah! Cream cheese. Oh, we might just cream cheese these bad boys up and just make them look really cute. Oh, I love this. Yeah. Cool. All right. I'm cool with the bagels. Good morning. It's very squooshed, but we'll make it work. Okay. I really didn't know where that was going. All right. That's a little more savory, so the world heard us. Let's see if it hears us this time. Savory, please. Oh, there goes more nail polish. Whoopsie. I'm so excited. Let's see what we're going to get. Okay. Okay, no spoilers. Let's see what we have. Oh, no. Those bags look hauntingly familiar. No, 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 no. No, no, no. 
Okay, something new. Phew! Oh, s'mores marshmallows. You guys know what that means. We got the s'mores. Awesome. Wait, they didn't give you a, a nozzle for s'mores? Oh, that's cruel. This is going to be messy. Good thing that other one I got comes with a nozzle because... Oh, boy. Nothing? No spatula? Oh, they are hateful. They just want us to fail on this one. Woo-wee. All right, well, we're going to prove them wrong somehow. Chocolate bar. I'm going to assume graham crackers. Whoop, my box is all torn up here. That's okay. And then maybe a tray, I would assume. Oh, what a cute tray. I like that tray a lot. Very pretty. Awesome. Okay. All right. I'm very happy with that one as well. And we have one more, guys. Are we going to get one of the three I really wanted? Pickle, soup, or potatoes? I don't know. I don't know. I'll be excited to build nonetheless, but man, I really wanted one of those three. And I was certain that if I got a bunch from the same case that I was going to get them. Dream big, huh? Also, do you guys prefer that I film here and like where I keep all my collectibles? Do you like to see those in the background or would you maybe prefer I remove those from the background? Feel free to let me know. Wee. Okay. <sighs> I keep getting nervous, but I think I just need to understand at this point that some of the bags are just going to look similar and that's just how it goes. So what shall we open? I don't want it to be a complete spoiler, so let's start with this one. Little strawberries? I'm trying to remember what had little strawberries. Why can I not remember? This is some kind of juice. What was in series, cafe series three that was juice? Juice. Oh, I think we may have gotten popsicles and I'm jumping the gun. These might be those mango popsicles, <gasps> which means we get to try one of the silicone molds. Cool. I was hoping I'd get one of those. Ah, I dropped the other piece of it. Don't worry. I'll grab it. Cool. And there's, of course, our little stand. Okay, this is exciting. Oh, and our little popsicle sticks, of course. You guys can see them on there. They're so small. And then, of course, our tweezers and our topper. So that is super duper exciting. Okay, guys, we are going to reshuffle, get ready, and we're going to dive in. All right, guys, let's do this. So after a lot of debate, because I literally could not decide what I wanted to do, I was too excited, I think we are finally going to settle on the Bear Pops um, first. So let's get into it let's see what we're working with so i have my handy dandy cinnamon roll scissors at the ready okay apparently you've cut the whole thing you can't just cut it a little and rip it come on all right let's see oh it's very cute okay now this is gonna be extremely hard to show you guys because right now it is um it's like just white it's literally just a white little bear pop. So this will be really cute and fun to make. And I'll try to leave it there um, so you can kind of see it on a darker surface. So we're going to open this up. Now it basically looks like we are dunking this in the chocolate and then in the nuts. I want to see, whoops, or rip the collector guide. They only put it at the bottom, which I think is going to be a struggle. But we're gonna try, we're gonna try. Doesn't we're not gonna give it our dangest. Let me grab our little bottom capsule. I think we'll use that to perhaps pour some of the nuts in. Let's see what um these look like compared to previous um, series. Whoa, they're teeny tiny. Can you see how small those are? Okay, this is gonna be way hard. Will we make it work? They don't really look like nuts though. They just, they're kind of have a weird color. But okay, we'll leave those right there. Let's open up our resin. We also have our UV light here all ready to go. Just move that 
plastic and this tape. I'm just gonna open that up. <clears throat> Whoa, kind of um, liquidy. So I'll be excited to see how this goes. I have a feeling we're also gonna probably have to dip these more than once. I also don't think this is deep enough for me to dip the whole thing in, so I'm trying to decide how I want to do that. Hmm, can you take this off of the popsicle stick? No, I don't think so. Can you? I'm trying. No, I don't think it's coming out. Okay. Well, scratch that idea. I thought maybe I could just take it off and then just... I don't know how I'm going to do this so that it doesn't look crazy pants, but... I guess if anything, we have a double, so. Yeah, I'll have a paper plate ready on the side as well in case we need it. Well, you know what we do in this life? We just go for it, right? Oh, that actually didn't go as bad as I anticipated. So if you push up on the side, you can kind of get it to go all the way. I'm gonna try to do the same thing on this side. No, 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 no. There we Okay, so I'm really just trying to dip it like you would see somebody dip it at like an actual ice cream shop. However, I almost worry that it's too liquidy because I can't really get it to stay like even one layer. Okay. Yeah, it looks very liquidy. But I guess what we could try to do is maybe hold it up, let it kind of like sink in a little more. Like, um, even out, I mean, I should say. I'm going to try to flip it over a little. Like this. Let the resin go all the way around. And then maybe cure it and then dip it again. Would be my thought. I don't know, though. We're going to find out. That's for sure. All right, that's where we are so far. So let me just get that cured a little bit. And then I guess we'll just keep trying, right? That's all we can do. I'm interested in why this one didn't come with a mold. Maybe it's because it would be hard to make the bear. I don't know. All right. So we cook that up a little bit. Interesting. I feel like this feels different than the other resin. Okay, so we got this first layer hardened. We're going round two because you could still see a lot of the white around that, and that is not my goal. Back. Oh, no, 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 resin, cooperate, please. I beg of you. Titus. You know Mama's filming. He doesn't care. Do you blame him, though? I mean, why would you? You're a cat. Titus, my sweet baby. Uh, this is starting to not look like a bear, huh? Yes, my buddy. My pal. I kind of wish I would have thought this through better and maybe grabbed a different resin. I don't know. Come on. Yeah, this is going to be a tricky one. Really should have grabbed toothpicks as well. Whoops. Um, we're going to use the tweezers. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, probably shouldn't have picked the most complicated one to do first. That wasn't my brightest. I think this looks more caramely than it does chocolatey, but oh well, I'm just going to try to manually move it around with these tweezers, which seems to be doing some stuff, I guess. I might dunk the whole thing in that, like nut crunchy stuff. I don't know how else we're going to make it look very cute otherwise. It's very challenging. Hmm. I don't know. This was not my best plan, was it? Yeah, this is like a really clear, clear resin. Not loving it. So this will be our third layer and I still, well, once we do another one, it'll be our third layer, but. 
still see-through to me, so I think we're going to try to cover it in knots and see what that looks like. I don't know. Okay. Oh yeah, don't touch that. That is still sticky. Okay. Alright. Hmm. Well, let's just try the nut thing then, shall we? We're just going to go for it, and I really hope I don't regret it. Okay, we're going to set you in there for a moment while I prepare the whatchamahoosits. Oh no, you're sinking! You guys probably all saw that happening and were probably laughing like, ha ha, oof. Yeah, that, okay, I get the idea they were going for here, like with the caramel apples, but then they needed to do a different size container because this is not the right size. So now I'm just going to try to hold it straight upside down. Let all that extra drip. Sorry, I know it's probably pretty hard to see, but trying to let the extra drip off. There we go. It's a little better. Not perfect, but that is okay. Whoops, almost stuck my hand in that. So now we're just gonna attempt to put some nuts on here. I don't know how this is gonna go. Okay. Oh man, I didn't realize I had resin dripping still. Shoot, shoot. We're stealing another pair of tweezers. Come here, tweezers. Oh yeah, you guys are seeing this go sideways fast. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Time is of the essence. Well, it certainly looks better all coated, in my opinion. Again, not perfect, but certainly better than it was. All right, let me cure this. Be right back. All right, friends, we are back. I basically did the same thing to both of them. Um, they came out kind of cute. You certainly can't really tell they're bears anymore. Um, really wish I just would have thought it through and grabbed a different resin. I think if I grabbed a darker resin, this could have gone a lot better. But the resin it comes with, not dark enough, in my opinion, but... I think these did come out fairly cute. I'm gonna cure them a little bit more, just to be safe, but I think they came out pretty cute. Let's get those under that light again. Oops. And I've decided next that we are gonna make bagels. So my cream cheese was separated um, big time, so I took a toothpick and I mixed it up. We are gonna leave all of our fishy ingredients to the side. And we are just gonna do cream cheese with bagels. Nope, that was not the right way to say that. I meant bagels with cream cheese. All right, let's get into it. I am excited. Should we make both? I think we should. I think so. I think it's a requirement. And I like that these bagels have like little seeds on them, like everything bagels. All right, so we're just gonna be doing cream cheese and we're just gonna set these up really cutesy, I think, and just really load them up with cream cheese and make them cute. Um, I don't think I wanna use the knife because I want to keep that. So I think we're gonna try and use the toothpick and then maybe cure it in between so we can get like a good amount of layers. So let's see where this gets us. This reminds me a lot of the white frosting from series one and series two. I wonder if it is exactly that because it's not very thick. It's my only concern. So let's just try and at least get a base layer, something we can build off of. Here we go. I think that's a decent base layer. And then we're just gonna toss that under the light with the popsicles that we've got going. 
and we'll do the bottom of the oh I may have done that upsy downsy oopsie oh well I don't really think there's necessarily well I guess there is a top and bottom of the bagel isn't there I don't know I like bagels I think they're good regardless you guys like bagels I like bagels a lot I also like English muffins I am a person who just likes bread let's put it that way I like bread a lot I'll say the only bad thing about these bagels is that those little seeds they have seem to be coming off, which I don't love. Um, so we'll have to see what happens there. All right, so this one also has a base layer. And let's trade it out for our other one. And let's make another layer and see if we can't maybe make it look like a nice cream cheese filled bagel. Oh, and I bet it'd be cute if we did one that was like actually closed and then one that was like um, kind of like half like put together. I think that could be cute. So we're going to try, I think. So, really want it to look all cream cheesy and delicious. And this is only our second layer and they gave us plenty of cream cheese. And I'm sure if you were using the other ingredients, that would cover a lot more as well. But I refuse. Because I want the bagel to look like something I would eat. Oh no, Titus hair snuck in there. It's okay, we'll cover it. No one needs to know the secret to these bagels is Titus hair. I'm just being silly. All right, let's make another layer. I think it's starting to kind of look like a cream cheese bagel. We're getting there. Ignore that Titus hair. I'm not going to talk about it. We'll make sure this is the shot bagel. <laughs> All right, another layer in. Swap it out. Okay. How are we looking? How are we looking? We got a good little layer going, I think. But I want it to be a thicker layer. So we're going to keep going. Hopefully you guys don't mind me showing you every single step I took to get here. Again, you guys can always let me know in the comments. I will be happy to cut those out next time. If you're like, oh my goodness, just get, get on to it, will you? I will not take any insult to that. Oh, this one spot of the bagel just does not want to cooperate. I just want this thing to look overloaded. Even though, interestingly enough, I'm actually not a huge cream cheese person. I mean, I do like it, don't get me wrong. Um, but when it comes to, like, bagels and stuff, I, I much prefer just butter. That's all I'm looking for is just some butter. I know you guys probably all think I'm crazy. Okay, I like this layer because it's letting me get it a lot thicker and look a lot more cream cheesy, but it is starting to run over the edge of the bagel a little. So I'm gonna have to proceed with caution. We're gonna get this one in and out really quick before it starts to drip over the side on me. I don't want that. Okay, here we go. I think three might do the trick, guys. Four might just do it like so I can actually obviously put them together. But I think three is what's gonna make it actually look really good and look like actual cream cheese. That is, of course, again, my own opinion. Do as you please with your bagels if you get them. Because I'm just trying to have fun. And the toothpick is working pretty good. I was wondering if it was going to, you know, be cooperative enough with me. Um, but it is. So it's kind of exciting. And we've officially, you know, hidden that Titus hair that we're not going to speak about. So, you know, resin is great, but it can be sticky. And when your hands are sticky and you say hi to your cat, well, guess what? You're bringing your, part of your cat with you. All right, nice good layer here as well. We are gonna toss that under the light next. And I'm not even fully curing anything yet, by the way. I'm just making it so I can get nice little layers. Uh, what I think I wanna do next is just put one more light layer, and this is gonna be the one that's like tipped off the side. So we're gonna try that. That's our experiment right now. Oh no, more Titus hair. Oh no, I can see it on my hand. Okay, we gotta get that out of there. You guys are gonna be like, no. Hey, I'm even gonna be like, no. Okay. Got the Titus hair away. 
Here we go. All right. Probably overkill, but I really want it to look like a cream cheesy bagel. So we're gonna take the top, we're gonna take our plate, we're gonna pick where we want it. I think right there is just fine. And then we're gonna take our bagel top and we're gonna just put it on the side like this. And then I think that's cute and we're gonna harden that together. I like that. I think so. I'm very indecisive. Yeah, I think I like that. So let me cure that one. And then we're just gonna stack the other one normal. Come on, bagel. All right, so let's do it. Now I think I had the top and bottom backwards. I sure did. This was supposed to be the top. Whoopsie. So, wonder. That's really all we need to do is just get it like this. So we're gonna try. We're gonna try. Not gonna make any guarantees. Here we go. I also had somebody comment recently that I was a, a very real YouTuber, which I appreciated. Couldn't tell if it was a read, like, oh my God, you can't edit or whatever, but I know I can't edit very well, I'm sorry. I do try, but I know it's not perfect. Um, but when you're working that full-time job and you're working overtime all the time, sometimes you start to get pooped, which may or may not have been happening to me, who knows? It entirely was. It entirely was. All right, I think I'm happy. This one has a bit of a bump. Here we go. All right, let's see if we put these together, what it looks like. Okay, I'm gonna fill in around where there's some gaps and I will cook them up and be right back. All right, guys, here are our beautiful little bagels. I think they came out so cute. I'm gonna cook them up a little bit more, you know, make sure the resin is all hardened. And I will at the end, of course, show you on our little turntable what everything looks like up close. But I am pretty happy with how this came out. These are certainly bagels I would eat. They look yummy. So we'll just keep letting those cook under the UV light. And I have decided we are going to make the cookies next. And I am excited about it. The frosting looked a little bit uh, sheer to me. So I did mix in some of the extra cream cheese, as bizarre as that sounds. Um, and it did end up giving a nice color, so we're gonna try it out, hopefully. Um, and we're gonna see how that goes. The other thing I debated as well was using different sprinkles I already had that weren't rainbow. They were like that unicorn color. Um, but I guess I can go with rainbow. We'll go with the rainbow. I'm sure I'll end up with a duplicate eventually and we can try the other one. All right, so there's all our cookies on our baking sheet. I'm hoping the resin I mixed up is dark enough so that we don't have to do 50 layers. Um, but let's find out, shall we? Um, again, they give you a jar and not anything else. So highly recommend toothpicks if you got them. And I think I'm just gonna start. Oh yeah, I like the color a lot. Perfect, yes, we are not even doing more than one layer then. Awesome. And I'm just kind of basically letting it fall off the toothpick naturally and then taking the toothpick and kind of pushing it if it's not already going in that direction. A little tricky. I know they don't sit, you know, perfectly on the baking sheet. But if you go slow enough and you're steady, you can get it. This also reminds me a lot of... Um, I don't know if you guys all have them. Loft House, I think they're called cookies, sugar cookies. They're those like delicious thick cookies, the frosting and the sprinkles basically look a lot like this. Um, at least in the Midwest, that we call them Loft House and they are delicious. So delicious. I'm just trying to keep this so close to the edge, but not where it's gonna drip. I think I'm pretty happy with that one. I say as I go in and immediately change something. No, I think I do like that. I'm gonna spread this just a little further. There we go. I think these are gonna come out really cute. All right, let's keep it going so we don't end up having any drippy drops. That's the last thing we want. 
I'm sure if you put a big enough dot, it might even do this on its own, but I just want it to look super duper cute. You know, the other thing I thought about was maybe trying to mix a different color frosting all together. Just doing something really funky. But then I was like, no, let's, let's stick with what we're supposed to make. I think it is coming along very well. The only weird thing I noticed about that cream cheese resin is that it separates fast. So I just want to make sure I'm doing this before it even has the slightest inkling that it wants to do that. But again, I think these are coming along pretty good so far. And if next time you guys are like, girl, you can even cut out making all these cookies, I will do so. Just let me know. But I figured it had been a while, so why not show y'all the grand details? I think this is looking cute. Oh, and guys, I have the funniest story. Well, maybe, I don't know if funny is the right word, but I guess it is. So the other day, I was out, you know, hunting for these, as one does. And I saw, well, I saw what I thought was just repackaged mini fashion. And I was like, huh, wonder why they're doing that. Maybe they're switching to that eco-friendly paper wrapper we've been seeing. Or more paper than plastic. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. That's nice of them. <sighs> they were Series 3. I walked past an entire case of Series 3. And I was none the wiser. And do I really care that much about mini fashion? No. But what I care about is Series 3. Because there's cats. And I need all of them. All of the cats. They have little hats and they are the cutest things I've ever seen in my life. And I'm going to have to go back to that Target now. Because I watched somebody else's video and I was like, oh my god, those are the balls I saw. And that's Series 3. But what's weird is it doesn't actually say anywhere, at least not that I could see, that it, it's Series 3. Like I literally did not see anywhere on those capsules. It's probably like front and center. I'm going to post my video and you guys are going to be like, you really didn't see that, huh? Um, but yeah, I was really disappointed when I came home <laughs> and I was like, oh, bummer, you know, this was before I found these and I was like, ugh, like, didn't see anything new today. Yes, you did. You just walked past it like a genius. Really nailed it, guys. Really nailed it. I just thought it was so funny. But yeah, I'll try to go there this weekend, see if maybe I can find, um, find that case again. Knowing my luck, that thing's going to be empty, but. You never know. It doesn't hurt to try. I am really pretty... I mean, I know I'm going very slow, but I'm very happy with how these are coming out because of it. I think they're coming out really nice and neat. They're really looking like those cute little sugar cookies. And I'm really trying to move because I'd like to add just a drop more to those top two. Just so they're a little darker. And we gotta get those sprinkles on there so we can get them in the UV. As fast as we can. No, don't go off the sheet. Stay there. All right. Yeah, this is definitely one to me, though, that should have come with, like, a squeezy bottle. I mean, I guess you could use that spatula they gave you, but then you ruin that spatula. I don't know. I'm, again, indecisive. But I am excited. These are really cute. Okay, I think I'm starting to go off the reservation with that one a little, so let's just do the extra drop on these two. Just want them a little darker. There we go. Beautiful. Guys, these are coming out so good. I'm so excited. Okay, now I'm going to steal a yellow thingamajig and pour out some sprinkles so that we can do it meticulously because whenever I just tend to dump this over <laughs> shake it out you guys have seen how that has gone for me not well not very well so we're just gonna be very gentle oh these really are looking like those cookies this is so cute well, maybe it wouldn't have been as bad if I used the shaker it's kind of getting the same results here huh but I am trying, guys, I promise. All right. 
night. This is awesome. I am very happy with these birthday cookies. These are such a fun one. Loving it, loving it, loving it. Okay, a little more sprinkles. And all that sticky resin on my hand is kind of helping me get the sprinkles. <laughs> Oops. Oh, I am so happy with how these turned out. These are so cute. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Okay, I will pop these in the UV and be right back. Guys, look at how cute they came out. I'm so happy with these. I love them, I love them, I love them, I love them. They're so cute. I probably could have made it even a bit darker resin, but I'm very happy with how these came out. They are too cute. And the way they fit in this little tray, mwah, chef's kiss. All right, let's throw those back under the light and we'll let those keep cooking. And we are gonna jump into, once I move our lovely UV light here, we're gonna jump into our strawberry smoothie, which I am very much looking forward to making. I have all our ingredients ready. I have a toothpick ready. So we can mix the ice into the resin. We'll also make sure our straw is ready because we all forget to put that in, of course. Man, I have the worst time opening these straws. Is it just me? All right, let's get our resin open. Very pretty, light pink. Maybe like a strawberry banana smoothie. And then the last thing we need to open is our ice, which again, they gave us so much, which is cool. Really excited. And since they gave us so much, I'll probably just put a couple pieces of fruit in the top rather than throughout the whole thing. Um, if I could get it open. There we go. All right. Let's get this opened up. Oh, and there goes a few of them already. But that is okay. I will set this bag on the side so hopefully it doesn't go anywhere else. And we're going to get ready to go here. So I like to start out by at least pouring a little bit of the resin in and then the ice and then I add more resin and then I mixy mixy mix. So, all right, the resin is open, shall we? Let's see how fast it comes out. The bottle feels incredibly empty. All right, let me do my old faithful, which is to shake it along the side. Because we at least got to get something in there so we can start putting the ice in there and then we can add more resin. But we got to have something in there to start. All right, that seems to have done something. That's what I like to see. Beautiful. Come on. Very thick resin. Okay, well, you know what? We're going to try to get one more good drop out of here and then we're gonna tip this upside down while we get working on the ice so we're gonna leave that upside down downsies and let's start pouring in a ton of ice because we are gonna need a lot to fill it in if there is not any resin in there so in it goes okay that's probably way 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 too much i'm probably gonna regret that that's okay. That's what life is all about, right? Live and learn, live and learn. Okay. I don't even know if there's a point in starting it yet. Oh yeah, it's hitting to the bottom. Okay. So we're just gonna start to mix. Kind of like the, um, the look of it already. Okay, let's see. Did the upsy downsies help at all? Are we gonna be able to get a little more out? It did, all right. There we go. Just another good drop to start with while we let the rest, whoops, sink down to the bottom. Let's just really mix it all in there. I believe I've put in too much ice, but that is okie dokie. What we're gonna need is some more rhythm this right now it's just very chunky but i like the idea of where it's going that's for sure all right let's see did the bottle gods give us anything else okay 
Let's see what we get out of it this time, shall we? Just, just, just one, huh? Well, it's a good thing to my left that I have some more of that pink resin I just made for the birthday cookies, because, oh my goodness, we are gonna be here for the rest of our lives. There's just nothing coming out of here. Ooh, okay. I'll put it upside down once more. And we're gonna steal some of the other resin and hope for the best. You didn't see me doing this, okay? Okay. Nothing to see here. Okay. Let's see where this journey takes us, shall we? Okay, it's certainly helping already, I can tell. All right. Now we're getting somewhere. I think we still need more resin. Ooh. Yeah, we're gonna run out of resin pretty fast. I'm running out of pink already, but. There we go. Looking pretty good. Yeah, way too much ice. But I, again, I like the way it looks. So let's just try to get more resin in, shall we? And see what that does for us. You guys are probably all sitting there like, oh my goodness, this, this girl and her Frankenstein experiments. That's correct, friends and fam. Whatever it takes to get this smoothie completed, that's what it takes. All right. Add in some more. Yeah, I like this a lot. Again, mine is heavily, heavily iced. But I like the way it looks in the jar. Doesn't that look kind of cool? Like a real smoothie then? I don't know. I could also just be delusional. Could go either way. I don't know. I'm pretty happy with it. I like the way it's come out so far. I think this looks really cute. All right, so I think what I wanna do, and again, I'm gonna sound a little crazy, I'm gonna put in the slightest bit more of the ice, just for the top, and then see if I can't get a little bit more um, resin out of the bottle that it came with. We're just gonna mix that up, just cause the top looked like it like kind of separated. I think that looks much better now. All right, and let's see if we can't get one more drop out of here. Looks like we can. Is that all we're gonna get? Okay. Well, it's better than nothing, right? That's right. Okay. Make sure that's all mixed up as well. Yeah, I'm liking this a lot. I think this is coming out really cute. Yeah. And then we still need a straw and then toppings. So let's get the straw. Bloop. Just kind of twist it so it looks like it was sitting in there the whole time. And then I think, do I want to put bananas in there too? Because bananas are going to sink if I'm not careful. Or... Do I cure it like this and then we just put in a couple of pieces of fruit on the top? I kind of think that's what we're going to do. So let me just get this hardened up real quick and we'll be right back. All right, guys, these are really coming out cute. I like this a lot. I'm sure some of you are going to say there's way too much ice, blah, blah. But I just really think it came out so cute. And I'm very happy with my banana. No, strawberry banana smoothie. Very cute. All right, so we're going to keep letting that one harden up under the UV, and we are going to move on to the s'mores. So we're going to use the baking sheet from the cookies to make our s'mores. I have no idea how big they are, so let's take a gander. Are we actually supposed to break them? Boy, this makes me nervous. Hold up, let's check the collector's guide. I have a feeling you probably are, but let's check. You know what? It's better to be safe than sorry. We sure do. So we're going to break those in half. So we make a total of what? Four? Okay. Okay. That's not nerve-wracking in the slightest. 
JK, it absolutely is. I'm really nervous here. Do these just... Um, okay, guys, we're just gonna go for it. What? I, I, what? Okay. But I know that pictures show four of them, didn't it? Yeah. And they're small. And they're two across, so they had to have... How did they cut these in half? You just keep going back and forth until it goes, I guess? Of course, I've not seen anyone else make this more, so that would make this too easy. Wait, what? Was mine, like, not prepared correctly? I can use scissors, I guess, but that's also nerve-wracking. There we go. I, I don't know what you're supposed to do here, to be honest with you guys, but that's what we're gonna do, because bending it in half was doing nothing. Not exactly easy to cut, either. It goes crooked really fast. I'm not happy with that, to be honest. I don't really get it. Like, at all. Like, are you trying to bend this one? No, it's doing the same thing as the other one when I bent it. It just... Ay, 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 ay. Okay. Miniverse, this is the first time, I think, in a while where I'm not very happy with ya. Duplicates are one thing, but uh, this is this is crazy town. And if a kid managed to get this, they would be really bummed because this is not easy for a kid to do. So all I'm saying is, come on, guys, cut your graham crackers. Make it easier for us, will you? Ay, ay, ay. Okay. Well, after all that lovely work and not clean lines at all, here are our four little graham crackers. Forgive me, I did not realize I was out of the shot. And then we have our chocolate, which did not come with a nozzle, but I stole one from a different set, because we need that. We're going to do the chocolate bars as well. I'm hoping that means there's four, because how else are you going to make this? Please? What? This is so confusing. I'm sorry to keep referring to this, but I'm very lost. This doesn't make an ounce of sense to me. Okay, okay. <sighs> Lucky for me, I think I have an extra chocolate bar from a previous set. But how about marshmallows? Now I'm a little concerned about this as well. Okay, they're really in there. Oh. Oh, are they yellow so it looks like they were cooked or something? Come on. Oh my goodness, come out of the package. Five? This set makes absolutely no sense. Three pieces of chocolate, but five marshmallows? I'm so very puzzled by all of this. Okay. Well, you know what it is, what it is. Let's see if I hopefully do have that piece of chocolate I thought I did in the previous set. I think I might used it in something else though. Which would be a bummer. Because how are we going to make it look like there's chocolate in there if we're out of chocolate? Well, this is a grade A bummer. I also have our Oreo cookies, which I don't <laughs> I don't really think Oreo cookies are gonna do what I want them to do. I mean I guess technically. That'd be so silly though, it's like a cookie and a cookie and a cookie. But I also want to make four. Uh, yeah, I guess I don't have that extra um, chocolate that I was hoping I had. Shoot. Well, let's see how the first two come along. And we will decipher from there. Alright. Let's get those Oreos out of the way for now. And all this Titus hair. Oh my goodness. 
Yeah, I'm already kind of bummed about these, I'm not going to lie. I am not understanding. I guess it could just be me, though. User error. Okay, trying to get those lined up and ready to go. So we can get this resin open. Woo, that came out fast. There's nozzle on. And then I guess we're just going to try to start to build. I don't know. This is very weird to me. Oh, but what a great line that this little whatchamawizit is giving. This is a great um, nozzle. And this is a really nice and thick resin, too. I'm just kind of doing a base layer, I guess, so I can just start to put toppings on. I don't really know. Oh, wait a minute. What if I did double stacked s'mores? I could be, maybe do that. Okay, let's see. Ah! No, resin, stop it. Do what you are told. It said no, ma'am. Oh my god, it really will not stand. Come on. Good gravy. Now I got sprinkles on my hands. Okay. That steel tweezers, and I think marshmallow would go on the bottom, would be my assumption. Which way is it supposed to go, though? I think the other way. Okay, so something like this. And then just give it a little tip tap so it settles on. And then we just do it again. Oh, great. Nailed that one, huh? Oh, yeah, we're bad at 1,000 today. All right, let's get you off of here. Back on where you're supposed to be. Okay, that one's going to be a little oozy. But that's all right. I don't, I think I'll make four. Because obviously I already started to make four. Oopsie. Come on, s'mores. I think this is a good concept. Do I like the execution? Hey, mm -hmm. I am just dropping all sorts of stuff. Okay. Could be worse, could be better, I guess. Gosh, and I took it completely off screen there. So sorry, guys. These are hard. Why did I not anticipate these to be hard? I don't know. Um, and the way I've been having luck with resin curing correctly for me, I kind of want to get the chocolate on next before that goes wrong. Oh, I hope I don't live to regret this. We'll see, guys. I don't know. Oh, and I don't have any chocolate for that one, you big dummy. Well, it is what it is, I guess. One of them, I guess I'll just pour a bunch of chocolate on so that it seems like there's a chocolate part in there. Or I go back to my Oreo idea, but I don't think I like that. No, stop it. Go where you're supposed to. Quit being stubborn. I don't know, guys. I don't know. I'm certainly not living for it. That is for certain. And I guess I'm just going to put a big old hunk of chocolate on this one and hope that it looks like a chocolate bar. We're just going to try that. I have no guarantees on how this is going to go. And then I think, you know what? I think I want to cure it all at once. So we're just going to go for it. Although we're already starting to run out of resin, which disappoints me greatly. Either that or it's getting plugged up in the nozzle. I suppose either is possible, but it certainly doesn't feel like I have much left to work with here. I thought I was really gonna like the s'mores. These are, these are tough. Come on, resin. All right, and we're gonna put on the tops. I don't know if I love the marshmallows with that yellow. I 
think they could have left them as white. Okay. I certainly know these are not going to be perfect, obviously. Here we go. And then last but not least, the one with no chocolate bar that we are just going to try to make work. Yep, because you have nothing to balance on. Okay, let's get those under the UV, shall we? And let me get set up for the next one. All right, guys, I'm definitely not loving the s'mores. They are messy. They don't look very good in my opinion. I don't know. I guess I could have done something wrong. <sighs> don't know. I'm gonna let them harden up a little more, see if maybe they grow on me, but definitely not super pumped about that one, to be honest. Um, but let me just move some of this other stuff out of the way, because next we are gonna work on our chocolate roll cake which is very exciting. Whoa! Sorry guys, dropping stuff on the side as well. Not on purpose though, I promise. Okay, I don't know where the doily went, so problem for another day. We are gonna work on our choco roll cake, which means we need to get it out of the packaging. And we're gonna use the resin we already have open um, from the s'mores. And then here's our one slice off. To me, it looks like a big old ho-ho. Love ho-hos, so yummy. Okay, and we are gonna use this little tray, hopefully to our advantage. And I just really wanna do a nice coating of the chocolate, um, I hope. No guarantees. Um, but yeah, let's see how this goes. Sorry, I keep taking you guys out of the frame. I'm not usually that bad. Yay. Okay. If I don't use the new glaze, though, what if it doesn't match and I run out? Okay, we're going to use it. Just to be safe. Just to be safe. Because you never know. Whoa, yeah, this one's a totally different color. Okay, so I'm kind of glad we're doing that. Whoa, hello. Steal the nozzle back from the other one. Test it out real quick on the side. Okay. Yeah, it definitely looks different. Okay. So we're just gonna give it our dingdest. I'm just gonna try to do again an even coat. Hopefully not get any on the bottom and then cook her up. So let's do that, shall we? Oh yeah, it's like a I don't even know what to call this, like a glaze almost, rather than a um, frosting. Oh, probably because it says glaze, genius. Oi, oi, oi. Sometimes the brain just doesn't want a brain. That's okay. Sometimes your brain needs a break. I think this is looking good so far. I like it. I like it. Let's get some on this side. I thought this was going to be way harder, like the mint uh, cake was. That drove me absolutely nuts. And I liked it in the end, but oh my goodness. We did like, what, eight layers of resin to get that color? It was nuts. Okay, I may have put too much on this side, so I'm going to try to get it to go the other way. Because I'm afraid if I tip it and then it decides to um, drip onto the pan I'm using, it's going to get stuck and we don't want that. Oh, little born blank spots right there. It's also helpful if you hold it up to the light because then you can see like what spots you're missing. There. I just don't want any like giant holes with no glaze that look really silly. Right there as well. Okay, I think I'm pretty happy. So we're gonna try to get this back on here and into the light. And then while that cooks up, we will do the outside of the separate piece, and then we'll be able to put on the topping. So let's just get a little bit of resin going here. You know what'd be really cool is if in the next series they do a cake that is fully sliced. I know most people will probably lose their minds, but I I would love it. Doing every individual piece. Oh, I think it'd be so cute. But that's just me. I'm a wackadoodle, so. 
All right. Here we go. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. I think I can put this one in the light as well. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Oh, little dry spot right there. There we go. All right. Let me just add that. Oh, this one might already be somewhat hardened. So we're just going to put this one in next. And then I think I want to do just one more layer and put the toppings on. I think it's going to be cute. So that's what we're going to try to do. Here we go. Plenty of resin in this one, that is for sure. Yeah, I just want it to look extra glazy and delicious, like a Krispy Kreme donut. Y'all like Krispy Kremes? I like Krispy Kremes if they have the frosting, not just plain glaze. Plain glaze is like, bleh. I need like sprinkles or like, you know, some pink frosting or something. And then I like them. I'm also like a super picky eater, so I shouldn't even be saying that. I'm intensely hard to take to a restaurant because I eat like a child. You know, grilled cheese, pizza, mac and cheese. That's that's my kind of gig. But it's always fun to make stuff that I'd never eat in a million years. <laughs> All right, I think I am happy with how we look here. I think we are just gonna add our little toppings. So we are gonna steal our pan out of the UV so we can put this little fella back on. We're gonna put the other one in there too. We're gonna do just a very quick second layer just so they match. I guess we're gonna be cute. All right, and then we're just gonna sit it down. Oh, I got a little heavy handed on that one, didn't I? There we go, okay. And then let's get our lovely little chocolate curlies so we can get this into the UV before anything drips. I'm gonna dump them out. Whoa, there's a lot more than I thought there'd be. Uh, let's get those tweezers, because I wanna get at least a couple on the um, separate piece. You know, and then we're just gonna do kind of like this. Whoops, there goes one of them. And another one. My cat is gonna have a field day. I don't like how many of these are sliding. Stop it. Man, these fling like there's no other. Okay. Hands it is. Which is also not working much better, but that's all right. Make it work, make it work. It's looking sloppy and it's really falling apart on me fast. I don't, I'm not super happy with how this is coming along. I wonder if the chocolate swirls needed to be like smaller or what. Or maybe I'm just letting them go too far down and that's why it's looking silly. Try to bump them up with my nail here. That one out of there. That one out of there. All right, that's a lot better. It's a lot better. Time is of the essence. So we're going to scooch those bad boys back up. Okay, and then we're gonna get some more on this side since they are slipping. Or maybe it'll look better if it was just one color. I don't know. I don't know. Hopefully it's coming out okay. I don't know. I don't know, guys. Sometimes I tend to be pretty indecisive. Oh no, and I can see that it hit the bottom. Shoot. Oh no. All right, I think I know what I'm gonna do and it's gonna be a little crazy, so I'm gonna pause and be right back. All right, guys, you know how things go on this channel. If something goes wrong, I tend to cover the entire thing. Did I do that? Maybe. I actually don't hate it. Um, it's definitely messy. It could be better. Um, next time I definitely will think it through better. I would probably more strategically place a line down the middle or something. I'm sure I'll end up with doubles, but 
it was a fun one to make, a little bit of a challenge, but it was still fun. Would not say it's perfect by any means, but it is cute, I think. We'll put that back in the light. And we will work on our last one, which is going to be the most beautiful little popsicle, I hope. So, we have everything ready. I just need to open up this lovely mango resin or juice or whatever it is. Uh, and we'll get to it. I like their juice bottles. They're really cute. Oh, very bright. Okay. Ah, get off my hand. Okay, so what I think we're going to do, we are just going to pour, 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 pour our little hearts out, put the strawberries in, then the popsicle sticks, then harden it, probably, hopefully. Okay, here we go. I'm very nervous. It's my first time making these popsicles. Oh boy. Well, it's always a great time when nothing is happening whatsoever. Okay, well, we're going to shake that up real quick. So hang on. I really love mini bursts, but the slacking on the resin, especially when we're in series three, bums me out. Bums me out. We are too far into the game to not have resin ready, guys. Come on. All right, let's try again. It's also really hard to make sure it fits in this little uh, crevice they've left you. Just gonna try, because that's all we can do. So we'll let that first couple go there and we're gonna move over here to the second one. And this may take longer than I originally anticipated. Come on. Uh, and what's bad is I don't have any other resin that looks anywhere near this color, so this is going to be a lot of warm water shaking, scraping. Okay, well this is going to get boring for you guys fast. Good gravy. Let me just get this uh, shooken up, warm watered, and as full as I can get it, um, and we'll be right back. Okay guys, not going to lie to you, that was super hard. Um, and my main concern is that I'm seeing the resins start to drip outside of the molds um, because it took me so long to get the resin out of the bottle into here. So uh, we're so close to having them both full of the top. This one is just off by a little bit. And I even added extra strawberries to that one thinking it would help. But oh well, I'm going to try to cook these up and we're going to see what happens. Be right back. All right, guys, here we are. So the popsicles overflowed, definitely. Uh, by the end of them, I did have to do some trimming. That is probably why you're seeing fuzz and Titus hair stuck to everything, because they were still kind of gooey. I think they came out really cute. Uh, I definitely will make the popsicle sticks longer next time. I think I made them a little too short, so they're kind of like, blah, blah. Like they're not staying in the stand very well. Um, maybe add more fruit, so I don't have to worry about running out of resin. I'm definitely keeping the mold. I do plan on using that again try out maybe a different kind of popsicle or something but I am pretty happy with how these came out uh, again not perfect wish there was more resin so I didn't have to scrape 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 and it starts to leak but it's better than nothing we then have our chocolate bear pops which essentially just look like chocolate covered or graham cracker covered popsicles I suppose again not my best work but I think they are cute and if you made them and they came out good, please share. Here are our cute little bagels. These are definitely one of my favorites from today. I think they are so cute and they look so real. And they certainly look like bagels I would eat. So I like them a lot. We also had the strawberry banana smoothie, which also came out very cute. To me, it was very reminiscent of um, series one and two. But I still liked it nonetheless. Only wish is that maybe the cup had a handle. Change it up a little bit, but no worries. We have our very messy chocolate roll cake. Well, definitely hoping for a second chance on this one because it just did not come out the way I had hoped. Um, but I do like it nonetheless. It is still cute. Definitely like the stand, that minty color. 
We have the s'mores, which again are not my favorite either. I just think they look very silly. Um, there's just something about that marshmallow that doesn't look right. Um, but I think they came out okay, all things considered. One of them fell apart, so we are left with only three. Um, and I definitely need to put everything back under the UV for UV light for a while longer. Um, but I think they came out pretty cute nonetheless. Apologies for the close-up of my hand that you definitely did not need. And last but certainly not least are our super cute birthday cookies. I think this and the bagel were my favorite today. These were definitely the most fun, came out the best, uh, most to my liking, weren't too messy to make. So I am very happy with these. I hope everyone enjoyed this unboxing and building journey along with me. Please stay tuned. These giveaways are actually coming soon this time. And again, if you're someone who's interested in trading all of the doubles I never endingly open, please shoot me an email. Uh, it's in my description of my channel. And I would love to talk to you guys more and trade so we can all get the pieces that we're missing. So thanks again, guys. Please subscribe if you haven't already. It's free. Helps girl out. And I hope you enjoyed this video. See you guys on the next one. Bye.